Hey guys, it's Tim here with an unboxing today of another Bluetooth page turner. And it's this one here. It's called the Page Flip Firefly. I'm gonna unpack it and connect it to the iPad and see how it works. Let's check it out. All right, let's open it up. Looks like we've got a plastic tray that this one's sitting in. Oh, there we go. Oh, lovely. It's all empty. So, instruction manual by the looks of things in a number of languages. We've got USB charger cable and the actual page flip. And there it is. So that's what the page flip Firefly looks like. Uh, it's got quite a few different buttons on it actually. And obviously these are the toggles where you would, you would be able to turn your pages. Nice smooth action, definitely no sound, which is great. So let's power it up and connect it to the iPad. To do that, we better check the guide to make sure we know what we're doing. Now it says insert two AA batteries into the battery compartment. Now this one's interesting because, uh, look at that, no batteries. So if this doesn't have any charge, which I don't think it does. I think that's a bit of a missed opportunity for the, uh, the manufacturers of Page Flip because pretty much since the iPhone was brought out and Steve Jobs decided to release everything charged with battery power in them, uh, anytime I get a product that needs batteries and isn't charged and ready to go, I'm a little bit disappointed. So let me go and get some batteries and then we'll try and connect it up. Okay, I've managed to find a couple of batteries somewhere in the house. So let's put them in and see if we can follow these instructions. I'm quite surprised because I would have thought this would be charged by uh, USB. So I'm really surprised it's not already uh, pre-charged. So anyway, it says flip the power to on, which I've just done then. Um, if the pedal has not been paired to a Bluetooth device, see 2A or 2B, 2B for pairing instructions. So I'm gonna kick off the pairing process now. Press the Bluetooth reset button. So there's, there's quite a few buttons on the back here. We've got a mode reset, Bluetooth reset, we've got the USB charge and a left and right. Uh, I'm not sure what these are, outputs or something? Anyway, so we'll press the Bluetooth reset button. Oh, there we go. So you can see the lights are moving in sequence. And then we'll head over to the iPad and we'll see if it comes up in Bluetooth. And it says in the instructions, look for premium pedal, which I can see right here. So we'll cr press premium pedal. And it now says it's connected. And it says a single light will flash slowly when connected, which is what we've got there. Great, so let's flip over to our four score and see if it's ready to change pages. Here we go. I'll leave this up here. Fantastic, there you go and going back as well. Beautiful, nice smooth action, feels really easy to use. It's very quick and responsive, which is great. I can skip multiple pages if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, there we go. Fantastic, easy start. So on the top here, we've got a number of different lights. I'm not sure what they do. We've got, oh, we've got lights. So there you go. There's actually, you can turn lights on in the pedals which could be quite useful if you're playing in a pit orchestra in the in, you know in near dark conditions to make sure you can find it so that's that's a cool feature i like i like that feature um, and i'm not sure what these all these ones do so i'd have to have a quick look at the manual to work out what these buttons do and also there's a repeat button which i'm not sure about so i'm going to have a quick read of the manual and i'll come back to you and tell you what the rest of the buttons do and we'll wrap things up Okay, so I've done a little bit more research into the settings here. Uh, this one, these are five different settings depending on how you want it to interact with whatever device you've connected it to. So for me on an iPad with music, um, moving between left and right arrow is, is fine. So this is up and down arrow, this is left and right mouse click, this is a space bar and an enter, and this is page up, page down. So I guess if you're connecting it to a computer that you want to use it for dictation or doing something in a Word document, then potentially this is a versatile unit for that. Um, the repeat function, I don't understand. It says slide repeat switch to on and the pedal will emulate pressing and holding a keyboard or mouse button. 
So I assume if you kind of turn it to on and then you put it into mouse mode, pressing this will be like holding, pressing and holding down that mouse button, the right mouse button. So I'm not really sure uh, what the purpose of that really is. It's got a time off sleep mode after 30 minutes, it will shut itself down, which is good because obviously the batteries will run out very quickly. And I've found out that these two are external switches. So if you didn't want to use these as your switches to change pages or whatever you are doing, you can plug in external ones. Not sure why you do that. Um, and you can actually program these modes, which is why there's a mode reset button on the back. And finally, the USB and the cable that they've provided, it doesn't charge it, it's just to run it off power if you want to run it off power. But sadly, uh, my understanding is this doesn't have an internal USB power supply that's rechargeable, which I think is a real shame. Um, but anyway, nice and easy to set up, nice and comfortable to use and uh, even on the ground and, and things like that, uh, really nice light touch will get you uh, what you want. So I hope that review of the page flip has been helpful for you. If you've got any questions or any comments, make sure you leave them below and look out for my video when I compare the page flip with the air turn and give you my opinion on which is best. Just before you go guys, I wanna make sure you're aware of Piano Pivot Live. It's my first ever Piano Teachers Conference and it's being held 23rd and 24th of January right here in my hometown of Melbourne. Beautiful weather in summer, of course. If you wanna find out more about it, head to timtopham.com conference. It's gonna be an incredible experience and I can't wait to welcome you to Melbourne. See you then.